Hello, YouTube Power Max here. Today, I want to diagnose an issue with this computer that I built like a year or so ago. And I got this EVGA 850 watt power supply here. I, what is this thing? I don't even remember. The 850B, BQ, I think the BQ is supposed to mean be quiet. 850 bronze switching power supply. Bunch of bullshit ratings, 80 plus bronze. Anyway, it's making a clicking noise now. Electronically, works fine, but mechanically that fan is making a clicking noise every revolution, and it's been slowly driving me insane over the past couple of weeks. So to demonstrate the issue, I got the IEC cable right here. Let's just plug this thing in. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is very annoying. This seems to be orientation dependent. If you've got the fan pointed upwards, it clicks. But if we pick this thing up, turn it upside down, seems to stop. Interesting. Oh yeah, this is this is the other way you can tell that it's definitely a mechanical issue and not an electrical issue. If you listen to the frequency of the clicking, you'll hear how it slows down as the fan slows down. Listen close. Now sure, I can send it back to EVGA for a warranty. Whether or not they'll accept the warranty for something like this. I don't really know. But honestly, I don't really want to bother with that. It's just a hassle for something that's simple. So let's just go ahead and unplug it and tear into it. Now I predict these four large screws are going to be what holds this fan grill in place, and possibly the fan. I'm going to say that these four small ones are actually what holds this top case on. It looks like it's going to be a hex 2.0 bit. I'm going to start taking these screws out. If you live in the US, this is bullshit. All right, there we cut that off. Let's pull this case off. Got it. I don't feel any screws under here. And I don't see why there would be screws under there. It must have something to do with these cables. All right. Let's see if taking that screw out, if this is holding something other than what I think it's holding. That's probably H2.5. Yeah, that's, just, that's definitely holding the fan on. Okay, so these screws are definitely just holding in this uh, this board right here for the modular bullshit. So I would say that, that I'm just gonna put those screws back on so I don't lose these screws. And get to a little sneaky screw right there. Sons of a bitch. It's even a Phillips. Why do they use Phillips? Everything else is hex. 
Okay, that's actually what it might be for. It's uh, just a little bit of extra reinforcement if you happen to be tugging on the cable uh, in a way that would cause this to bow out. But anyway, there's our fan. I don't know what that's about. That yeah, looks like high voltage isolation. Uh, fan is oriented like this. Yeah, that's probably what it's for. Because we've got some uh, mains input filtering stuff. So here's the inside of that power supply. And while we're in here, let's just take a minute to appreciate the beautiful complexity that is modern power supply design. And this isn't even their like top of the line one. This is like their base model or whatever. Still $85 and I still expect to, you know, the fan to not be making some freaking clicking noises. All right, so that was a lot of rambling. Let's actually fix the freaking problem. Oh, it's nice to see that they actually used a proper connector here. What is this? This looks like it is a JST SH. Something seems to be catching it inside of the fan. So we're going to have to take this thing apart and see what's causing that. JET motor. RL, RZ, blah, 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 Teflon nano bearing. So it's just got a, so they're just using Teflon for a bearing. Okay, whatever. Gee, almost half an amp. What the fuck? What is this? Like a 9,000 RPM fan or something? Peel the sticker back. All right, what's causing that catching? I shouldn't have stuck that there. Get get off. Shoot. No one no one cares about you. All right. Can we see what's catching? All right, so I've identified the issue. This is a piece of shit fan and EVGA shouldn't be using it. All right, so I got the little retention clip out of there and it's a plastic retention clip. Oh jeez, this fan is such a piece of shit cheap fan. It's making all that noise. Oh wait, that might be what it is. It's a little piece of, it's a little bit of a plastic tag in there. The camera's picking that up very well, but. What about the other injection molds? That's a nice ring magnet assembly. It's a ceramic magnet, cheap. Cheap, not very high flux, um, which means low cogging, but it also means very low torque. Yeah, for a shitty little PC fan, you don't need much torque. This isn't like a um, high performance Tesla motor or anything like that. Well, anyway, let's just go ahead and pick that little tag out of there with a knife. Yeah, try not to scrape up the magnet too much. Oops. This actually sounds like fiber reinforced plastic. You hear that, uh, the sound of those glass fibers in there? And listen to this thing spin. So anyway, I guess it wasn't the bearing that was the issue, it was uh, just a piece of shit. Injection molding uh, with the turbine, uh, we just had a bit of a bag there. That's fine. It's probably a good idea, if you have it, to put some lithium grease uh, back on this. But we all just stick that back on. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to stick that retention clip back on there. Honestly, these are fairly low speed, low performance motors. Um, it, this is not going to come off unless you, like, really rev up the motor. 
So you can just leave it like that, it's fine. It's gonna be captive in there anyway. But since I haven't lost it, I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall it and put this thing back together. Ah, nice and quiet now. Perfect. Now, back to mining. 